seven GMO foods you never knew about. Sugar. We all watch out for it now to make sure we don't eat too much of it, with it now having a hand in most things we eat. But have you ever watched out for genetically modified foods? Walk into any grocery store and you'll see lots of different all-natural labels plastered across a variety of food packaging. And without additional information accompanying these labels, they may cause more confusion than clarity, as well as increase the cost of a food product. We know you have questions about GMOs, from the safety of GMOs, why farmers and food companies use them, to what foods, or food ingredients, were developed using genetic engineering. And if you live in the US, there's a good chance that at least some of your food has been genetically modified. Watch this video to the end to find out what item you thought would be completely natural, but is actually genetically modified. Number one will burst your bubbles. Before we start, don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe to Ufeed and the bell button to get notified of our new videos every single day. Ready to be surprised? Let's get it rolling! Number 7. Canola Oil Canola oil is used in lots of cooking ingredients, just like olive oil, so you see it in a lot of prepared meals you find in a grocery store like peanut butter, frozen potatoes, salad dressings, chocolate syrup, rye bread, citrus flavoured sodas, mayonnaise, salsa, some cereals, chips, crackers, granola, cereal bars, margarine and even movie theatre popcorn. It's also used to deep fry lots of foods, including McDonald's french fries. But did you know that rapeseed, the plant to make canola oil, is another crop that's genetically modified to be used in combination with herbicides that kill weeds but leave the plants untouched? GM rapeseed is so widely used that it has contaminated the wildlife in parts of North Dakota. As of 2010, 90% of US canola oil is genetically modified. Number 6. Dairy Products Fresh milk is a rich source of several essential nutrients including protein, calcium, phosphorus, vitamin A and vitamin D because it lacks the fat content of other dairy products such as whole milk and offers better health benefits. But did you know some farmers inject their cows with recumbent bovine growth hormone RBGH, which is used in dairy farming in the United States to increase a cow's milk production by approximately 10%. But approximately 2-3% to of infants are allergic to this cow's milk, which is the base of most infant formulas. According to the Center for Food Safety, milk from cows exposed to this genetically engineered hormone are considered a GMO animal, even though the hormone was approved by the FDA in 1993, it isn't allowed in some countries, including Canada. The use of RBGH is common throughout the dairy industry, so pretty much anything dairy has a bit of GMO in it somewhere. That means that butter, milk, ice cream, cheese and everything else lactose tolerant people love is likely filled with GMOs. So it's always best to check the packaging on milk products to see if it's labelled RBGH free. Number 5. Tobacco Let's be realistic here, smoking is terrible for your health. You know it, we know it, everybody knows it. Regardless of this, it has become one of the easiest to reach cash generating crops in the US. But do you know that 90% of the tobacco grown in the United States is genetically modified? This is because tobacco trees suffer from some very deadly pests which infect the seed. To tackle this, scientists and farmers devised a pesticide that can fight the pests away from eating the tobacco. The most dangerous bug for the crop is the tobacco budworm, which lays its eggs inside the plant and makes it difficult to kill the larvae. To modify the plants, scientists in labs are injecting or infusing the genes of bacteria from living things into the seeds of the tobacco plant you are smoking. GMO tobacco has built-in pesticides and herbicides built right into the DNA of the plant. It's like heating up deadly pest chemicals in a pan, boiling it and stiffing it in while it boils. Nice! Number 4. Soda 
When trying to avoid GMOs, soda does not readily come to mind. But did you know that these sugary drinks are very likely to contain GMOs since they contain high fructose corn syrup, which includes corn as an ingredient? According to an FDA report, most corn is genetically engineered, with genetically modified corn accounting for 88% of the corn planted in 2012. Other products containing high fructose corn syrup include juice drinks and certain bread and crackers. The fact that GMOs are hidden in products like these make it much more difficult for Americans to identify whether or not they are eating GMO-free. Number 3. Potatoes in order to reduce the amount of acrylamidine, a chemical which is formed during the frying process of potatoes and is to believe to cause cancer, the USDA approved a new form of GM potato in 2014 for the American market. The new spuds acquired from GMO modification are usually bruise resistant, which makes them more profitable in the long run and decreases the risk of cancer. Though the GM product is intended for the fried potato market of french fries and potato chips, they have become genetically modified with the genes from other species of potato, not from other organisms, altogether making it appealing to people who would prefer to avoid GMOs altogether by bridging the gap between the so-called Frankenstein crops and the cross-pollinated ones. These aren't the first GM potatoes to hit the market, but they are the first that have appealed to the public in both the United States and possibly the European Union as well due to its potential cancer-fighting trait. Number 2. Papayas in Hawaii Papayas in Hawaii in the 1990s were on the brink of extinction without help from GMO technology as they suffered from ring spot virus, PRSV, a disease transmitted to the fruit by insects. Throughout most of the 20th century, papaya trees were severely affected by this papaya ring spot virus, and by 1960, almost all papaya production had to move from the island of Oahu to Puna to escape the disease. Unfortunately, by 1992, PRSV had caught up with the plants on the island of Puna and the crops were severely threatened. By that time, a resistant strain of papaya had been cultivated in a lab, but it hadn't been introduced in Puna until it was way too late. To fix this, scientists introduced a harmless gene from the virus into the papaya's DNA, giving papaya's immunity to the virus. And by the late 1990s, the newly manufactured GM crop of papaya had undergone extensive testing and had proven to survive and yield enough fruit to be profitable, and thus the papaya was saved. Today, most papayas are produced in Hawaii, though some come from Texas, California and Florida, where they too are roughly 77% genetically modified. So, if the papaya you're eating was grown in Hawaii, it's almost certainly a GMO food. Number 1. Non-browning GMO apple over the years, apples have proven to be a nutritional fruit to eat, but records unveiled by Okanagan Speciality Fruits in 2016 revealed new non-browning versions of the Golden Delicious and Granny Smith Arctic apples had been genetically engineered and were being grown in test plots in New York and Washington while they awaited USDA review and approval. But how did the non-browning apple come about? First, let's consider a biochemistry lesson. When you rupture an apple by either slicing or biting or bruising, a plant enzyme called polyphenol oxidase, which is found in one part of the cell, mixes with the oxidase in the other part of the cell called polyphenolics. A chemical reaction occurs which creates the apple's flavour. Now, when PPO and polyphenolics mix, a brown-toned melanin apple is left behind. But Arctic apples produce no PPO, hence no chemical reaction takes place when the apple is bitten, sliced or bruised, with no yucky brown apple left behind. To produce a non-browning Arctic version of an existing apple variety that grows for the Western world, scientists simply took out all the good enzymes to create a non-browning Western apple through a process known as PPO. So, now with apples growing everywhere with no PPO production genes in them, most apples in the US no longer turn brown. This genetic transformation is aided by modern science tools. Understand any of that? Don't worry, we still don't understand it either. Well, that's it for this list, but do let us know in the comments below if you know of any weird GMO-modified foods.
By eating GMO foods, does that make us GMO human? Let us know. Thank you for watching and see you next time.